आज आम डिस्कसन करवा इलेक्ट्रोनिक कन्फिगुरेसन रेकेंड पार्ट फास्ट पार्ट में मुझे आपको आब प्रिन्सीपल कही आज हूँ सुर अनुजाई इलेक्ट्रोनिक कन्फिगुरेसन आम डिफरेन्ट एलिमेंट मानक बक्स डायग्राम करवा ओके सो आज लर्णिंग पॉइंट हूँ इलेक्ट्रोनिक कन्फिगुरेसन इलेक्ट्रोनिक कन्फिगुरेसन इन बॉक्स डायग्राम इन बॉक्स डायग्राम फ्रेंड्स मु मोर फास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर में आपन मनक देथिली इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन डेफिनेशन आपन मनक मन अछि ना मन अछि त मु पुन थर कहि दो छी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन इज द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन डिफरेंट सॉफ्ट सेल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर कैपेसिटी फॉलोड बाय अपर प्रिंसिपल एंड हुंस रूल एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन माय फर्स्ट वीडियो व्हाट इज अबव प्रिंसिपल बट पेंडिंग थिला आपन मनक को हुंस रूल बुझिया पे आज मुश्चय आपल बुझे फ्रेंड्स ओके पेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दि पेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नेवर अकर Occur until all the subcells are singly occupied. Friends, the pairing of electrons never occur until all the subcells are singly occupied. This is the statement of Hounsou. On the basis of this principle, now we can arrange the electrons in different subcells. Okay, so now I will explain you the electronic configuration of elements in different subcells on the basis of Hounsou's rule. Friends, in the first video lecture, I have given you the electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1s1, and it is your helium. 2, 1s2, lithium. That is your 1s2 and 2s2 2s1. And now I will give you box diagram. We know that S subcell has only one orientation, and S subcell 1s has only one electron. It can be mentioned as single upper arrow because whenever two electrons are present, this can be represented as like this. But here only one electron is present. and the first electron is represented by upward arrow and here it is 1s and in 1s two electrons are present and the two electrons can be represented as one is your clockwise or clockwise another is your anti clockwise that means both can be represented as clockwise one another is anti clockwise that is upward arrow and downward arrow it is your 1s2 we can write like this it is your 2s1 you can write Like this, okay. And this is called as the box diagram. It is the electronic configuration box diagram of hydrogen. It is the electronic configuration in box diagram of helium. It is the electronic configuration of lithium in box diagram, friends. Like this, you can write beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. So in case of beryllium, you can write this is your four, one is two. And 2s2, and the box diagram can be written as like this. It is your like this, okay? It is a pipe. You can write simply 1s2, 2s2, 2p1, 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. You can write as box diagram. This is your two electrons. One is clockwise, one another is anti-clockwise. It is your one is upward arrow, another is downward arrow. And this 2p can be represented as like this because it is 2px, it is 2py, it is 2pz, it is a 2pz. Okay. And only in case of 2p, only one one electron is present. This is your single. Okay. This is your single, and both can be vacant. 
and this is the box diagram electronic configuration of beryllium and boron then carbon 6 it is your 1s2 2s2 and 2p2 you can write like this double and it is a double and it is your 1 2 because it is written like this according to Hohn's rule according to Hohn's rule the pairing of electron never occur until all the subcells are singly occupied all the subcells are singly occupied you can write the electronic configuration of nitrogen like this this is your nitrogen seven number of electrons are present you can write 1s2 2s2 2p3 it is like this okay and this is your three orientations it is a one, one and one single single electrons will be in the 2px, 2py and 2pz. Okay. These are called as degenerate orbitals. These are called as degenerate orbitals because these have similar energy. The energy of 2px, 2py and 2pz are equal. Here it is called as degenerate orbital. But according to above principle, electrons are progressively added in different subcells in order to increasing order of their energies. I have already explained it in my past video lecture. Okay. Then oxygen. Go to electronic configuration of oxygen. It is your 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. You can write like this. This is your like this. And 2p4. Four, that is your 1, 2, 3 and it is 4 this completely follows Hohn's rule and in case of nitrogen, oxygen and fluorine you can write fluorine that is 9 it is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p5 it is like this double, this is your double and this is your 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is your 5 completed. This is the electronic configuration in box diagram of fluorine. So friends, you can also practice this type of electronic configuration up to atomic number 30. Next, I will have a video upon my own CV. But Jodi upon my channel, we have to subscribe for Nandi. I will subscribe for you. Upon YouTube, you can type for you. केमिस्ट्री स्पीयर आलपी प्रभात त्रिपाठी एवं सब्सक्राइब कला परे आपण बेल आइकन को दबंतु जा द्वारा कि मो तरफ रु दिया जाउथिबा समस्त वीडियो डेली जहा राति 10टा से अपलोड करा जाउची आपण तारो लिंक पाई परिबे टिल देन गुड नाइट